So today for Phys Ed, we're going to continue our unit on basketball, but rather than just focusing on sending and receiving the ball, we're actually going to focus on the game strategy of moving to an open space. So what I want you to do is turn to your partner right now and talk about what it looks like to move to an open space. Once in their partners, students share their prior knowledge of effective strategies for finding and moving to open space. Consider having students watch the skill demonstration videos from the MLSE Shape Up website prior to the lesson. So to get warmed up, we're going to start with keep away. Use pylons to divide the gymnasium into four to six activity areas. Students begin by walking briskly around the gym, weaving in and out of the pylons. Students deep or move around the pylon, changing direction by planting the outside foot and moving quickly in the opposite direction. After a few seconds, have the students increase their activity level to a slow jog and finally to a slow run while continuing to deke around the pylons. After one minute, divide the class into teams of two or three and have the students play mini two-on-two -two or three-on-three -three games of keep away using a basketball. Students with the ball can only pass, no dribbling allowed. Students have a maximum of five seconds to make a pass while the other team defends. If a ball is intercepted or is passed out of bounds, the defensive team gets the ball. The object of the game is to see how long one team can keep the ball away from the other team. Remind students that they need to move without the ball to be successful. So now we're warmed up, we're going to continue to work on our passing and moving skills by playing pass and move to an open space. Students remain in their warm-up groups. Students line up in two lines that face each other about 10 meters apart. The first student in line A passes using a chest or bounce pass to the first student in line B and then runs across to the back of line B. Then the first person in line B passes back to the next person in line A and runs to the end of line A. Have students continue this sequence for the duration of the activity. Let's move on to our next activity, passing on the move. In their groups of four to six, have students partner up and line up facing their partner about three meters apart at one end of the activity area. Each pair of students has a basketball. On a signal, the first two partners begin to shuffle towards the other end of the activity area and pass the ball back and forth to each other as they move. When they are halfway to the other end, the next pair begins. Continue shuffling and passing on the move for the duration of the activity. Remind students to pass the ball where their partner will be. Teachers should move throughout the class reminding students of the success criteria for sending and receiving a pass. Now remaining in our groups, we'll play a mini game. Using the same groups, students play mini half-court games of two-on-two -two or three-on-three. -three. Students are not to dribble the basketball in this game. They must advance the ball by passing. Students have five seconds to make a pass. On a turnover, the defending team takes possession of the ball and must complete at least two passes before they can take a shot at the basket. If time allows, a second game can be played with a different opposing team. Be sure to remind students of game strategies, such as give and go, quick transitioning from defense to offense, using the outlet pass and moving to an open space to get open. Let's cool down with Pass It On. In their groups of four or six, students form a circle and begin to run around the circle. Each group has a basketball and students begin to pass the ball back and forth across the circle to one another as they run around the circle. The students continue to pass the ball back and forth as the teacher directs the group to slowly decrease their activity to a slow jog and finally a walk. Once the students are walking, the teacher signals the group to stop by calling time out, at which point the person holding the ball leads the group in a 15 second stretch. The groups resume walking and passing the ball back and forth until the teacher calls time out again and a new student leads the stretch. This sequence continues until the groups are appropriately cooled down. 